Hi guys, welcome to Nerdarchy for Nerds by Nerds. I'm Nerdarchist Ryan, and today I'm joined by Nate, Ted, Dave. So uh, this video is part of our Monster BFF series. So uh, who do we have being best friendsies today? Well, I'm uh, rocking out with the Ramaraz over here on page 258 of the Monster Manual. And I have uh, the Steam Method on page 217. Upset How could this even manual. happen? Methods and Remorizes, oh my. So, method so, yeah. Hell the, yeah. so, so we, you know, we're talking about this a little bit, like, like how the hell does this even happen, right? Yeah. So, so, that, so first of all, it's a Remoraz. So the only kind of method that can really hang out with it is one that likes it hot. Yeah, that's right. So I'm like, I hot. like it hot, hot, hot. Yeah. And, and you know, the other, so the, but the other problem is too, like, you know, there, there's some cold methods that you could have in the Arctic environment where the Remoraz is from. The only problem is the Remoraz would turn it into a puddle. Mm, it would. So we're like, well, what day. can we do? Like, so what are the hot ones? We got smoke, you got magma, and then you have steam. Well, and fire. Fire. Uh, I don't think there's an actual fire method. No? They're all like quasi elemental. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. They're all a quasi elemental. Yeah. Okay. yeah. There are uh, many fire elementals and stuff like that. But Yeah. So, like, Nate's like, well, you know, it's got to be steam because you have water and you have fire. It makes steam. You know? so yeah. You got melting ice. Well, uh, all, all the warm ones make sense to me. All the hot yeah. ones. Mm -hmm. Really. So, mm -hmm. you know, a remoraz is essentially an animal as far as its intellect. So, you know, why would the remoraz let you know, methods hang out with it. And we were talking, uh, there's a fish that hangs out with sharks, a uh, pile of fish, and they don't really get eaten by the sharks. Uh, but because they benefit. They're, they're utilitarian. Yeah, they sharks. benefit from being next to the shark. It's like a symbiotic relationship. Right. So in this case, the steam method uh, kind of comes into being because of the remoraz. We were talking there's uh, where the where does the remoraz get its heat? We're saying, well, it could simply be that the Remoraz is actually has some kind of connection to the plane of fire or, or the elemental like plants. Yeah, I think we're, we planes. were talking about like because in our, our chimes of Discordia, we have the chaos bleed and chaos magic just kind of affects things sometimes. And the idea is that you know the Remoraz you know went through a bleed and accidentally became a portal, an elemental gate. To, yeah, basically an elemental gate to so, one of the power, power elemental planes. Elemental steam. Right. And, you know, and the methods keep finding their way through because maybe it's a really small gate anyway, right? Mm. But the problem is... It's one way. <laughs> once it's, they, it's one way, and once they show up, the only source of heat that's around them is the Remoraz. Yeah. So they have to, like, cling to it in order to survive. So it's like Titanic. They're like, hold me, Jack. Hold me. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> So, so, I you know I envision like the first so this thing like leaks methods like it's like J J Abrams uh, Cloverfield where like it was the monster that spawns off monsters like this thing so it's going through and like just coming off of it occasionally our steam methods and then they're like and then they jump for it because like they're like oh it's so cold out here so cold so yeah so like I envision like the first dozen or so it just tears them apart and eats them. But after a while, like, well, it doesn't really eat them. There's nothing to eat, right? Yeah. And, but after a while, it just gets tired of killing methods. It's like, mm -hmm. I can't eat them. They don't taste good. They don't taste and, like anything. They're so light. There's no calories. There's no calories. Zero and calories. they won't stop coming. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so eventually, just out of sheer uh, frustration or... or uh, Acceptance. Of it's yeah, lot. pretty much. It's like, I give up. They're just scared. And then maybe, like, the methods start doing useful things for the Remoraz. Mm. You know, Polishing and scales. Yeah, yeah. Massages, foot massages. They have a lot of feet. Mm. <laughs> uh, you know, maybe helping it hunt. Standing yeah. guard if, if the Remoraz ever needs to sleep. I mean, it is kind of insectoid, and I guess insects don't really... I guess they go dormant. So well, it's got at least periods of rest. It's a monstrosity. Yeah, so. yeah it's not an actual insect. Although It looks insectoid. Yeah, it looks insectoid, but also gives me that reptilian feel. So it's like... Yeah, because it kind of looks. It also has like it's kind of snakeish as well. Yeah. So yeah, so the, you know the idea is eventually it just accepts its fate. The methods hang out with it, and they're like, oh, "Well, this is kind of great, except for we can't really go anywhere as we're kind of stuck." But that you know that also leads to like you know having some kind of culture in the area of you know these type of methods, if they manage to you know if this remorize manages to pass some something that's hot like a lava tube or 
you know, it's a geothermal uh, you know, vent. Right. So then you've got some place that these things are, are hanging out because it's like, all right, well, I can ditch the Remoraz and stay where it's hot all the time. Yeah. Or even like maybe they, 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 they for whatever reason, there's a nearby fire, like even a campfire. Mm-hmm. And you know, methods. I don't think they're that smart. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh wait, this is another place to hang out. And they're like, oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is even worse like, than the well, Remoraz. Here's these warm bodies. Yeah. Let's yeah. see if they've got enough warmth for me. And then we also um, we've established the fact that there's like lava flows beneath because Trinamit exists because Pillar Rock came up. So the if it passes by that. Trinemit, what is this Trinemit? Tri- so because? that's where the gnomes lived. It's, it's basically these ex- excavated columns of lava rock that we did, they we just did a terrible train on that that we did but so if the remoraz passes pretty close to the lava flows underneath you now have steam method pests that could plague yeah, the gnomes they could get into the network of heat and ducks tubes ducks and ducks in there yeah. and then they could end up in the steam pipes and the geothermal vents of trinemet the gnomes home so they can be like a type of pest that you've got to deal with an annoyance yeah yeah but like just, clean out the vermin in the basement. Just becomes a huge pain in the ass for the gnomes. Right? Yes. So definitely, you know, what do we say that's a great I premise for a level one adventure, yeah. clearing out the, the methods? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But and, just don't, don't tell well, them. Well, depending going, on how many methods, it can be like a one through three because they've got a lot of abilities like death bursts and steam cone breath and all but, kinds of know, nasty. It, it, it's great when you, you know, tell them you're going to clear out pests and, you know, they they're think, imagining rats. They're, they're imagining rats, and they're going to go fight. You know, little elemental cans. That's that's pretty neat. Mm-hmm. So and th- so we get that that that's like a spinoff thing, but the you know the actual main threat is the remorads with all these methods hanging out. Right. So the you know re- depending on what you go with them, a remorads either a challenge rating five or a challenge rating eleven. You know whether it's the baby or the mama. Yep. And then how many ever meth- how, however many methods you want to throw at the party. Yeah. Now the steam methods are on the opposite end of that spectrum for challenge because they're a quarter a piece. Mm. Uh, so you can do loads of them. But they pack a punch for a quarter a piece. Average 21 hit points. They got claw attacks and they've got uh, steam breath and a cone. And then they also have the, the ability to explode when they die. So overall, wow, so awesome. Yeah. Overall, they're just like, here, I'm going. I've got. It's, I'm going to shoot you with stuff. I can claw you with stuff. So and that, when you hit me, I pop. It's bad enough that they have to fight the remoraz, but then they have to be pinged by these little things. So the cone. What, what type of? Uh, what 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 type of? Save a fifteen is it? foot col- uh, cone of scalding steam. Every creature DC ten saving throw. Not a big deal. And it's D eight fire. Is save so for half. Save, save for half. half. Yeah. Okay. Not a big deal, but I just imagine your players, you have a lot of them. Your players have been bitching about being cold for weeks because you've had them in this tundra or whatever. <laughs> and all of a sudden they're like assailed by the Ramaraz and his and his steam method posse. <laughs> yeah. Where he's just it's getting like, scolded left and right. Is it hot enough for you now? <laughs> oh yeah, talk about turning up the heat. <laughs> yeah. And you know, then the other problem is is if this Ram- Ramaraz survives and he keeps wandering around. He's just gonna keep more. He's just gonna keep spitting out steam methods. Yep, yep. So definitely a good encounter to find in the the Remoraz lair, or uh, as just kind of a wandering thing where it's looking for food. So I wonder. I don't. I don't know much. I I would want to imagine what a Remoraz lair would be. I would think they'd have to find either an ice cavern that's large enough that it's not going to melt through or some kind of has some kind of rocky base to it. Hmm. So but they burrow, so I could see it being underground uh, so to, what, to rock. Would, uh, would the Remraz, you know, totally lair or would it just, you know, keep moving? Because like, it's, it's the type of creature that's going to keep coming back to the same place. Yeah, like, because some, like, I, I think of them, like, basically as Arctic fiery centipedes and centipedes don't layer anywhere they uh-huh. just kind of uh, you know like they might stay out of sight but they're not like i don't think they make a conscious effort to be are, are in you the sure place. there's there's a whole centipede layer he, he's he's, <laughs> he's, he's had le- lengthy uh conversations with them yeah so i mean maybe all right if any of you guys are centipede experts just centipede experts comment below and you can you can give us the 411 on centipedes Oh, the, they, it's or, a monster. I like monsters having a lair. They're, it's only a five foot radius from them that they do the heat damage. Mm. So, I, you know, I feel like eventually uh, you're, you're going to hit some stone or some dead yeah. rock. And, you know, the ceiling above isn't necessarily going to melt. Oh, yeah. You're not going to melt through the ceiling. And, and do you think that they could turn it off if they want? Like, maybe when they're dormant, they're not 
they're not flaming yeah no, I, I, I don't think, think so it's I yeah it sounds like hot. they always generate the heat or you know maybe or maybe like they had there's a cavern with like steam geysers and stuff like that mm. is where where they actually uh would lair and think about it right so this guy he just wanders around the arctic ambushing people spitting out um steam efforts but every once in a while he, he goes home mm. to hang out and they're like, oh my god, we can finally get this off place this is guy. like colonized by <laughs> how smart are our methods or steam methods? Uh, I don't know, 11 intelligence. Okay, so they're, they're, them, they're so. average, they're super yeah. average. They could they could form a community, they, they would definitely form a community. So it's like the smurf version, the steam method version of the smurfs. <laughs> right. They're hanging out in this, like, this uh, this you know, magma tube where there's maybe steam geysers or some something like that, uh, and hot springs. But they're still kind of like stuck. Mm. Uh, could you imagine like you like you finally get rid of the method, you, you, uh, methods, you kill the Ramaraz, and you you, you track it back to its lair to get <laughs> you got more methods, <laughs> and you show up and there's like three hundred steam ton, methods. Ton of methods. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> they're like you just killed our taxi. We're so annoyed. Uh, <laughs> how are we supposed to get out of here? Now we're kind of stuck. Oh, what if they start training it to be able to get it to go places? Like they start to like kind of cajole He's it. Really interested in training. Remember, well, right, right. Right. <laughs> they are trainable creatures. If, if yeah. you have one from when it's young, like if they to say there's offspring. Yeah, you have offspring of the the main rem, rem, and, rem. and like they're smart enough to like, hey, if we can get this thing to like respond to do what we want it to do. That's true. Yeah. You're trying to Timon and Pumbaa this thing, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, that's right. It could be our lion. Yeah, it could be our lion. Is anyone else picturing Remoraz races? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we're a steam. Because what else are we gonna I mean, do like, with Remoraz? Yeah. I mean, like you kind of like. I imagine like they're gonna want to do things to amuse themselves. You know, like I, I kind yeah, of see methods. I feel like they have that gremlin. They're gremlin, like, gremlin-y. Yeah. 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 So like I could totally see them doing stuff like Remorize like, races. Remorize races. Um, you know, like like trying to get them to go places. Like yeah, you know, like it's like your friend with a car. Like and you don't have a car. Like hey, <laughs> hey, come on, let's go here. This would be awesome. I bet there's some tasty people to eat right over there. Yeah, yeah. There's there's definitely some tasty, so good. tasty people. So Yeti barbecue, come on, let's go. So they're like, yeah, all kinds of hijinks they can get up to. So yeah, yeah so and then like, like they're in a, a, that gives them the incentive oh, to to could... to actually get Ramirez as the mate, so mm -hmm. they can have offspring in order to train them. I could see them just, just like a dating service. I could see them almost <laughs> doing like, yeah, you know, practical jokes of like melting like structures so that they're gonna collapse or whatever. Like doing areas. Yeah, well, things that would be funny to a method. Well, I yeah. mean, it could even develop. The steam methods could say, well, you know, we've got this remoras to go to these certain points. We'll have it also make uh, ice traps where they melt up to like you know an inch thickness just mm -hmm. in certain spots, and people fall through. And are injured or wounded, and then the Remoraz just comes and checks the trap. Mm. Yeah, I mean, because like I don't know much about the motivation of a of a method, you know, but I, I just see them like doing whatever amuses them, and sometimes what they, what they find amusing is cruel, <laughs> cruel true. and unusual. Yeah, I, you know, it would be cool too. Like the build up to this encounter would be finding like these weird uh, sigils and emblems and stuff that have been uh, you know melted into ice and snow. Mm. Like crop circles, like basically pretty much ice and snow crop circles. Yeah, yeah. With, with the with the um, with the steam methods with nothing better to do, and they're like yeah, creating either, mysteries either through the either through their breath weapon, uh, the steam breath weapon they have, or they're like just leading the the Ramaraz around because the Ramaraz has learned to, to to kind of listen to them, and they just may build like snow and ice labyrinths. Yeah, or they like draw rude things in the snow. <laughs> just because. Well, I see like combinations there. Right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you totally, totally. Which have, way you want to go? You know, the, the, the essentially like the the free loot. You know, <laughs> where a couple, you know, you know, people where they've they've, you know, whatever's been digested, you know, you're finding that the trail of you know the rumors is you know devoured prey. Well, either that or the steam the steam methods just take it off them, whether they want to keep it or they set it out as bait. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, they're, they're clearly smart enough to do it. Go, I mean, you find uh, pieces of gold, trail. yeah, like a trail, like an M and M trail. <laughs> yeah, and it's just like, oh, oh, it goes in this little hole. I wonder if there's more gold in this hole, mm. or or even just <laughs> out in the open on one of those traps you're talking about. Oh, one of those oh yeah, traps, yeah, yeah, right on top. I mean, like it's something shiny. It's gonna it's gonna garner interest. People can see it from far away because of you know this. Yeah, yeah like a sword sticking up in the ice. 
And you're yeah. like, oh, I'm going to come over and get that. That's shot. That's, that's cool. Or three three gold coins or something, you know, yeah. reflecting the light. You, you you would see on an Arctic plane, I think you would see that from a ways off. Yeah, the sun would shine right off of it. And, and you know, you go, oh, cool. You go to pick it up and boom, you're in a trap. Right. I'm and sure. hopefully it's somewhere within eyesight of where the methods are so they can watch it when it goes down. Oh, absolutely. When it happens. Well, yeah, that's always what they want. Like yeah, maybe ideally they're like, maybe they'll hear a big boom and, and through the ice yeah. tubes and they'll know. <laughs> I, I almost see them having like this. I'm picturing like this, like cavern, and you know, there's like uh, up top, there's like other caves and openings where they kind of hang out to watch like, what's going on. Watch, that's funny. Little, they like, got little right. lawn chairs. They, they bet <laughs> who's gonna go for what, babe. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah. I told you, silver coins are better than gold. They can see them from much further away. <laughs> yeah. so. Gold coins are worth more. Yes, what about my sword stuck in the ice? <laughs> yeah, you guys never saw that one coming, yeah. did you? <laughs> Excalibur this. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I guess, you know, I guess we played this one out. I mean, you know, uh, it's an interesting combination that you probably wouldn't normally imagine. And, you know, a little fire and ice. Indeed. A song of fire and ice. Yeah. yeah there you for go. you guys out there. And, uh, you know, let us know what you think in the comments below. Like. Comment, share, subscribe. You can hang out with us on Facebook. Uh, you can check us out on nerdarchy.com. Also, join the conversation over on Reddit. So, until next time, stay, stay nerdy. Well, I'm uh, rocking out with the Ramaraz over here on page 258 of the Monster Manual. And I have uh, the Steam Method on page 217. How could this Manual. even happen? Methods and Ramarazes, oh my. So, method so, yeah. so, so we, you know, we're talking about this a little bit, like, like how the hell does this even happen, right? Yeah. So, so, that, so first of all, it's a Ramaraz. So the only kind of method that can really hang out with it is one that likes it hot. Yeah, that's right. And some like it I hot. Like it hot, hot, hot. Yeah. And, and you know the other. So the but. Hi guys. Welcome, Nerdarchy, for Nerds by Nerds. I'm Nerdarchist Ryan, and today I'm joined by Nate, Ted, Dave. So, uh, this video is part of our Monster BFF series. So, uh, who do we have being best friendsies to that? Fire makes steam. You know, so yeah, you got melt and ice. Well, uh, all, all the warm ones make sense to me. All the hot ones, yeah. really. So, mm. you know, a Remoraz is essentially an animal as far as its intellect. So, you know, why would the Remoraz let, you know, methods hang out with it? And we were talking, uh, there's a fish that hangs out with sharks, a uh, pile of fish, and they don't really get eaten by the sharks. Uh, but because they benefit, they're, they're utilitarian. Yeah, they sure. benefit from being next to the shark. It's like a symbiotic relationship. Right. So in this case, the steam method uh, kind of comes into being because of the remoraz. We were talking there's uh, where the where does the remoraz get its heat? We're saying, well, it could simply be that the remoraz is actually has some kind of connection to the plane of fire or, or the elemental like plants. Yeah, I think we're, we planes. were talking about like, cause in our, our chimes at Discordia, we have the chaos bleed and chaos magic just kind of affects things sometimes. And the idea is that, you know, the Remoraz, you know, went through a bleed and accidentally became a portal. An elemental gate. So, yeah. Basically an elemental gate. The other problem is too, like, you know, there, there's some cold methods that you could have in the Arctic environment where the Remoraz is from. The only problem is the Remoraz would turn it into a puddle. Mm, it would. So we're like, it's well, what day. can we do? Like, so what are the hot ones? We got smoke, you got magma, and then you have steam. Well, and fire. Fire. Uh, I don't think there's an actual fire method. No? They're all like quasi elemental. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. They're all a like quasi elemental. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There are uh, many fire elementals and stuff like that. But yeah. So, like, Nate's like, well, you know, it's got to be steam because you have water and you have fire.